let's go geocaching on the motorcycle. I'm Neil Moore, and this is Cash Tale. Today's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The sun is shining and it's like 75 degrees. And what a great day for a bike ride and what a great day to go geocaching. I'm here in a small park in Macosta County. I'm gonna go find a small, so come on along as I walk through the bushes and take a look at the scenery. Oh, this looks like <laughs> always look for the sticks. <laughs> well, I found the container, but the mosquitoes are crazy out here, so I'm going to hurry up and sign it, get it back, and get back out to the bike. Going for a cache that's on private property. I've got five favorite points. I'm always nervous about going on private property, but you know, if it's a geocacher, they know where I'm coming. I am at the GZ, and I believe this is gonna qualify me for the July Geo Challenge by Joshua the Geocaching Vlogger and Cache Advance. We're finding a cache that is not your typical container. Check this one out. That was a pretty cool cache, so I'm probably going to give that one a favorite point. What would an outing be if you didn't stop at a cemetery to find a cemetery hide? I don't know what it's like out where you live, but where I'm from, there's a lot of farm country. And there are quite a few geocaches that are scattered throughout that farm country. But today was a great day to get out there and to travel the countryside on the motorcycle and to pick up those onesie twosies that are five and six miles in between them. What a great day and I am having a blast. All right, we're here at Cowden Lake. We're going to pick up one more. Well, I signed it, now I'm gonna put it back. This is the last one for me today and I'm heading home. I got a nice 45 minute drive on country roads and I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Well, if you're gonna enjoy the countryside, get out there and do some geocaching. We'll see you next time on Cash Tales.